Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and today I'm going to be going over a one in the chamber plugin. Link in the description. It has zero dependencies, and uh, yeah, fairly straightforward. Throw it in your plugins folder. And you're going to need Java 7 or it will not run. I encountered this problem and had to spend a week talking to my host. So, let's get started. First command, slash OITC set lobby. Terrific. Now when people type slash OITC lobby, they will be teleported here. There are no permissions except for oitc.admin, which allows you access to the admin commands. Otherwise, everyone can use every command in OITC that they're supposed to be able to use. So, so now that you've defined the lobby, you're going to need to create a game. So OITC, and then you're going to want to type create, and then the arena name. I'm going to call my arena hijacked, because that's the map we're playing on. So there we go. Now we have an arena called hijacked. So let me just game mode myself. I've created a separate world for OITC in my map so that I can deny people the warp permissions because if people are, can warp out of the arena, you get all sorts of craziness. So you want them to be able to only leave the arena with the one in the chamber commands, like OITC leave, and then I've got a warp sign. So be careful that you don't allow people access to slash warp while they're in an OITC game. So here we are, we're on hijacked. And a quick note, you're going to need walls if you're going to use a map like this to stop people from getting out. So I've got invisible blocks here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on those soon. So first things first, we're going to need spawn points. So let's walk over here, slash OITC, add spawn, and then your arena name, hijacked. All right, hijacked. So there we go. We're adding one spawn to hijacked. There we go. Now, now there's a spawn right there. So let's say we want another spawn here. We're gonna stand here and add another spawn. So now we've got two spawns. All right. So it's just I'm gonna find a few more locations and just set spawn points, and I'll be back in a moment. All right. So now I've set the spawns. We're going to decide what game type this arena is. There's two kills and survival. Kills is first 25 kills. Survival is how many lives you have. So I'm gonna do OITC set type and we're going to do skills because right now survival is a little glitchy and I've had a few problems with it but we are oh my god <laughs> so our, our uh, Josh goggles here has named his sword testicular cancer just lovely all right um slash OITC set type and we're going to do kills Did that work slash OITC checking that I've got the right command here should be correct set type kills oh and then your arena name so I forgot something there hijacked there we go so now hijacked is on kills mode so this arena is pretty much ready to be used so I'm gonna just type slash OITC lobby here we are get a sign out first line capital O lowercase I lowercase T lowercase C one in the chamber second line join all lowercase arena a capitalized then the arena name hijacked hijacked now hit enter and there you've got a default arena with eight eight slots you can change this eight slots along with some other settings and I'm going to show you those in a minute all right so here we are we're going to want to go into our plugin files then to the OITC folder and then to actual config so we've got our arena you can see max players is eight I'm gonna bump that up to 20 Auto start players, how many players you need to start the game. I guess three is fine. Countdown, how long after you have enough players that the game starts. I'm going to do ten. Kills to end, how many kills does it take to win the one in the chamber game. Ten. And your game type. Um, lives, that only matters if you're doing survival. All right, we're going to hit save. And then go into the config. So this here is just the config that the game keeps, or the plugin to remember everyone's stats and everything about the arena. So you don't have to touch this one. So there we go. That's all you're going to need to do in the settings. Um, that's pretty much it. So I am going to play a game of OIT.